I want to bring up the, I don't know if we've talked much about the non-conference schedule on here, Derek, but obviously the exhibition against Kansas is going to be awesome. Uh, Five o'clock on October 29th. You start, we got Eastern Illinois, Oakland at home. You have Marquette at home, a top 10, 15 opponent. Roger Powell and Valpo uh, come to the State Farm Center on November 17th. And you get Southern, Western Illinois. Uh, the Jimmy V Classic, again, Madison Square Garden, Fort Atlantic, and then head to uh, Tennessee, Colgate, Missouri, and Fairleigh Dickinson. Um, obviously beat uh, Purdue last year. But mm-hmm. just going down that schedule, Derek, what do you think of that non-conference? You got some challenges. And I I saw the news yesterday of, of Colgate being moved. I don't. I think Illinois was probably trying to do that to, to lighten up that that late November into December because you're probably going to see those at least one or two. You know, there's going to be two early non-conference games. Last year they were staggered where you had Maryland, then Jimmy V, then Penn State at home. So I think how that gets scheduled around the Florida Atlantic Tennessee game, you're not going to have a, a Big Ten game that week. But uh, Colgate's a team that's been an NCAA tournament team, one of the top three-point shooting squads. I'm not saying they're going to beat Illinois. I mean, athletically, Illinois should absolutely overwhelm them. But we saw it with with Penn State or, or just some teams that in the tournament, if they're hot from three in a certain game, or especially if you're overlooking them, that can be a, a dangerous one. But, yeah, I mean, Tennessee and Tennessee truly in a true road game. And, and that's one that when I was – I wrote up the non-conference superlatives, like do, digging some, doing some digging on what their their home court environment's like. I mean, they – they get like 16, 17,000 like strong in, in those big non-con games. Like they hosted Arizona last year, uh, Illinois, especially if they're good early. Uh, that should be a, a rocking environment there in Knoxville uh, on a no football Saturday too. So uh, excited for that one. Of course, excited for the Jimmy V with Florida Atlantic, a team that brings back pretty much everybody from that that squad that made the Final Four. And that's a, a really good tandem of guards that they have. So I think Illinois, as you kind of question what their point guard play looks like, uh, that's one that could really test them. And the Marquette game early uh, at home is is going to be a great environment. And I, was it San Vicini? Did he put Marquette like in his top five? Uh, I know he had Illinois up there in the in the top 15. Or I think Torvik had them very high in his rankings as well. So, yeah, I mean, I like how they, they have opponents. They're going to learn something about themselves. And then yep. they have opponents like they're going to win games. But this is not an easy non-conference oh. schedule for Illinois. No, and, and Tyler Kolick might be the best player they they go up against. Tyler Kolick, point guard from Marquette, uh, maybe the best guy they see in the non-conference. So uh, that that's a, a huge game, another resume building win if you're able to get it. Uh, I think it's it's going to be fun. You're going to have some of those marquee matchups outside of outside of that. I mean, you hope that Fairly Dickinson doesn't give you a Purdue-like run. Uh, I know they changed head coaches, although they did promote within the staff and they lose some of their guards that helped uh, beat Purdue, but they they press you a ton. So, I mean, that's something that, if you really want to get nitty-gritty, like, can Illinois, how do they handle that and, and everything? But, uh, yeah, Kansas, I, I don't know that we've talked about it on the pod, man. I That's so awesome uh, to be able to see what that environment's going to be like, uh, the response to, to Bill Self, the response to Hunter Dickinson one more time. That's a really loaded Kansas team, though. Speaking of Torvik, they're the only team on Torvik preseason that's top five in both offensive and defensive efficiency. Got a good freshman class coming in. They did work in the portal. And then they got a handful of guys like like McCuller back, like Harris back, uh, K.J. Adams back. They're, they're loaded. Let's make this a trend. Let's make this a trend where the, instead of a secret scrimmage, Let's let's do these for real as an exhibition. I mean, we do preseason games in, a, in basically every other sport. Why not do this? You can still do your situational stuff. Like people will come to watch a practice between Illinois and Kansas, uh, or Illinois wherever. Like let's let's make this a trend and, and make it for charity if you want. That'd be phenomenal. Whatever the the cause you want to do, why not do this more often? I, I think this is great. Hundred percent agree. Uh, I think when you get a, a team like Kansas, like the environment's going to feel game like. So it's almost got to be a game. Like, I don't know. You pretty much got to put 40 minutes on the clock, 20 and 20, and just let it go. And like, play a legit exhibition game. It, maybe if it's somebody else, you 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 don't mind doing the situational stuff. But you're right. I mean, the crowd will eat up whatever you give them. 
So uh, I think that you can still keep score. Like you still keep score if yeah. you're doing like sideline out of bounds for ten minutes. Like that's fine. People just want to see the basketball, man. Like, I know. That's all they want. One hundred percent. But yeah, I, I do think that this Kansas Illinois game is going to feel like a real game. And I, I mean, Hunter's going to want to beat Illinois. Illinois is going to want to beat Kansas. That whole thing. Uh, and it's it's just going to be a lot of fun. Yeah. Self will get an applause. It's twenty years later. I think everyone's ready to do that. Hunter will not, and Hunter will love it. And I I love him for it. Love him for it.